how's it going welcome back to my channel thanks for clicking on another video in today's video I'm going to be doing a medicine Q&A so I'm going to be answering all your questions that you guys have left me over the last few weeks I've been having a lot of questions about me being a doctor how I became a doctor and just all about the world of medicine and doctoring I didn't actually like publicize or like ask you guys for questions about this but I just have been getting a lot so I was sat there reading through them all and I was like actually do you know what I'm just gonna do a video on it and answer them all in one place because I think that'll be a lot um, more easy and better for you guys first question how old are you you look too young to be a doctor why thank you <laughs> so I'm 24 I've just turned 24 um, and I'm not too young to be a doctor so the way it works in the UK is that you do your A-levels you apply to university um, and you do a five or six year degree I did a six year degree and I didn't take any gap year I didn't take a gap year I went straight in from A-levels um, and I didn't do a degree before a lot of people will do biomed or whatever um, so they might then be three years older um, or someone might intercalate and then do a six year course so they'd be a doctor at 24, 25 um, but yeah I just went straight in, bit the bullet, got it all out of the way and so I'm a doctor at 23 actually is when I was a doctor I'm not quite sure how it works in the US, maybe there's a different kind of training I'm not sure but um, there are quite a lot of 23 year old doctors, 24 year old doctors um, so yeah, no I'm not too young <laughs> but thank you for the compliment Second question what kind of doctor are you? I am a medical doctor, so I am a medical doctor. Um, I didn't do a PhD, I studied medicine at university. I studied an MBCHB degree, so I'm a Bachelor of Surgery and I'm a Bachelor of Medicine, so I'm a medical doctor. Um, I think that's what you mean by that question, uh, whether I did like a PhD, no I didn't do a PhD, I didn't do dentistry, I'm a medical. What type of doctor I am at the moment, I'm still in my foundation training. So in the UK, once you've done your five or six year degree, you start your foundation training. So I am in my first year of foundation training, so I am officially a doctor, but I'm still in training. And actually, most junior doctors, you are kind of always in training until you're a consultant. So um, when someone says junior doctor, they don't just mean like me, like a first year doctor. They actually can mean someone who's been a doctor for up to like eight, 12 years even. Um, so I am in my first year of foundation training. So I haven't specialized yet. At the moment, at this moment, I'm doing a rotation on surgery. So I'm um, on colorectal surgery at this precise moment in time. So that's the kind of doctor that I am at the moment. So you have two years of foundation training before you then go on to specialize. This is how it works in the UK. Um, so specializing can take anywhere from three years for general practice to like I think like 12 years for some surgery I'm not sure they can it can vary depending on what you specialize in so I haven't specialized yet I'm a foundation doctor year one I hope that makes sense as to what kind of doctor I am so I am but I am like someone said do I have I think someone had commented yeah someone said do I have like actual patients yes I, I look after actual people so yeah that's actual people <laughs> not make-believe people um, but yeah that's the kind of doctor that I am Next question is where did I study? I studied at the University of Birmingham. I absolutely loved it. Oh, I loved it. University, I'm gonna have, do you guys want another video on uni? Like how to survive uni? Because honestly, university is an incredible opportunity, an incredible like bubble of opportunity. No matter what you go to study at university, you come out with so, so, so much more. Um, and I loved studying at UOB. UOB, incredible, definitely recommend, highly recommend. So yeah, that's where I studied. What grades did you get? Um, so grades did I get? I guess they're all kind of relevant. I applied obviously through UCAS. Um, I don't know what my UCAS points were, but the grades that I got at GCSE, I got 10A stars at GCSE. At A levels, I got two A's and two A stars is what I got. Which subjects did you study? So I uh, can't even remember what I studied at GCSE anymore. Time has gone so quick. Um, so at GCSEs I did, I did triple science, so I did the sciences each separately. I did maths, I did further maths because I love math. I, to the point where I, I do actually believe that maths has a really bad reputation. I think that if you have a good teacher, maths is just, it's straightforward. It's like turn left, turn right, everything makes sense. It just, everything makes sense. Love maths. Anyway, so I did further maths at GCSE. All oh, the nerd in me is coming out. Um, and then I did French, I did music. I did IT, I did English, English literature, English language. So at AS level, I did maths A level during my AS year. So I did the whole A level of maths in one year. 
so I did AS plus A level in one year. Um, biology, chemistry and music. And then in my second year of college, so for A2, I dropped maths. I was going to do further maths, but then I decided that timetable wise, it was really stressful doing four A level subjects. So I dropped maths um, because I already had an A level in it. And I carried on with biology, chemistry and music. Um, I loved music. I loved music so, so much. I always have to have that outlet, that creative outlet, and music was great for that. I loved music at A-level. But yeah, those are the subjects that I did. What made you want to become a doctor? This question is a good one, and like, a bit of a story to be honest. So I don't have like a romantic story like, oh, at the age of four, a doctor saved my life and I knew in that moment that I, no, I, I, unfortunately I don't, I wish that I did. My parents always suggested medicine to me, and so that actually made me not want to do it more. <laughs> But deep down, it was always what I wanted to do. I considered other things like economics and law, um, and I decided that they weren't for me. I think that medicine was the subject for me, but I never, I never felt, I never felt like 100. I was born to do this, and and that was really frustrating for me because you saw I would see everyone else in med school, and I'd be like, am I in the wrong place? I did enjoy science, I enjoyed people, but I was also I always felt a little bit out of place, and and it wasn't until I got to my final years of medicine that I was like, actually, I'm in the exact right place, and that we need doctors of all kinds. We need the doctors who love to sit in the labs, and we need the doctors who maybe like me love to like talk to patients and actually get to know what's going on in their lives. We need a wide range of people in medicine to continue further medicine so I encourage you that if you're thinking of studying medicine and you're feeling like oh I'm not the typical medic don't worry neither am I and now I am a medic so we get to define what the typical medic is when I got over the fact that my parents wanted me to do medicine when I realized that that was actually a good sign um, I realized that medicine was just so me I love people like I just I know it sounds a really weird to say but I, I love people I, I wanted to work with people I knew that I couldn't spend the rest of my life sat in front of a screen or sat in front of uh, I don't know some paper files I needed to work with people and medicine lets you do that in the most powerful and intimate way I will never get over the way people trust you in that time of their life when you're ill it's a really difficult time of your life and to be able to help someone during that period I, I will never get over the privilege of that um, and I work with people in a team, so you work with a, a wide range of professionals, you work with other doctors, senior to you, eventually someone will be junior to me, um, nurses, physios, not only that, it's really intellectually stimulating, so um, you're always learning something, you are always learning something new. It's a constantly evolving field, and there's so much scope for, for something to stimulate you, and I think I need that in a job, I think I need to be challenged, um, and I think medicine at the moment is doing that for me, and I think it will continue to do that for me. I chose to do medicine, and I think that's actually really important, because sometimes when you stumble into something, you can you can quite easily stumble out, so I, I was quite glad that I didn't just have some fairy tale entry into the subject, that it was actually a decision that this is what I'm going to do, and once you decide something, um, I think that bodes well for the rest of the journey in that field. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry that that's not more romantic, some like romantic story of why I became a doctor and all this, um, but that's just what's true for me is that it was a choice and it's a choice that I think I'm happy with. It was a logical choice, especially as a daughter of Nigerian parents, things need to be logical. Um, so yeah, for me, um, medicine was the logical choice and I really, I, th I trust God that it was the right one. I think I do. Yeah. Life's right. Did I enjoy studying medicine? That is an interesting question. I... <laughs> medicine is hard. It's a hard degree. It is difficult and I really struggled with it because I felt it's time, it's very time consuming. It was difficult for me to pursue my other hobbies while studying medicine so I had to stop athletics which broke my heart. Um, I had to stop music which I just had to stop things. I had to stop pursuing other dreams in order to pursue the one that I had committed to. I found that really, really difficult. The um, the time it took to be good at medicine was a lot of time. And there were moments where I really didn't enjoy how hard it was. But I think that's how it is with everything, that if you study anything to um, in an in-depth level, it's gonna get hard. I found it really difficult. However, there were moments that I just loved, like moments when on placement I would have a patient and then they would it's always the conversations for me that that ring most true but just um 
there was just just interactions with patients really just kept me going so I was like you you're what I'm studying for the fact that I could just help you just then is because I put in all those crazy hours of study and that makes it worth it for me do, do you see what I mean so I didn't enjoy spending so long in the library I didn't enjoy getting like crazy stressed but I really enjoyed the fruit of it which I didn't see as often as I would like to you don't while you're in med school because obviously you're just on placement you're not the actual doctor doing the things but now that I'm working I see that a lot more I, I see what the study achieved every day and it's really nice it's like my dad would always tell us growing up that the pain only lasts for a little while but the result lasts forever so I'd say it was worth it and in hindsight yes I did enjoy it although I cried on the phone to my parents for pretty much five years straight um, but yeah, that is, I'm going to end the Q&A there. Um, those are just questions that I've received on various videos um, and on my Instagram and stuff. So I just thought I'd put them together and answer them all in one video. I really hope you've enjoyed that and that that's been, I don't know, interesting or helpful if you're thinking of studying medicine and becoming a doctor. And um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that video. If there are any questions that I didn't answer in this video that you would like me to answer, um, then please just leave them in a the comment and I can do a medical Q&A part two if you'd like. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching you guys. I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye.